In his maiden speech, Labour MP for Chipping Barnett Dan Tomlinson told of the struggles faced by people bringing up families in outer London and the aspirations of suburban life. At the start of his address, he told MPs in the Commons, Chipping Barnett is not, as some may assume, in the Cotswolds, which is home to Chipping Norton and Jeremy Clarkson's farm, although we do have 14 farms in the constituency. Mr. Tomlinson, who was elected MP for Chipping Barnett, North London, in the July general election with a majority of 2,914, told how the area had developed from a stopping point north of London in the 1700s, with 25 pubs at the time, to some 200 years later being connected to the city centre by the Northern Line, and housing developments under a relatively liberal planning system pre-1947, he explained further. Chipping Barnet is home, as I said, to wonderful farms and green spaces, and many of us move to Barnet because we value a house with a garden, room to raise the kids, and maybe even space to park the car out front, the aspirations of suburban life. Gone are the days when a child could grow up in a low-income family and on free school meals, just as I did, but with the security of a social security system that was there for them and genuinely affordable social housing. He said, I am talking about the deal of suburban life, people who put in so much, spending their time stuck in traffic or on the northern line, raising their kids to know right from wrong, and serving in their communities and working hard, expect in return that the government will just get some things right by providing public services that are there when needed and ensuring that the economy is strong and growing. He added, I think of young people who cannot afford to move out of their parents' homes and own or rent in the suburbs. I think of many residents who want to buy a new car but are scared that if they do, it will be stolen and the police will not follow up. Those everyday aspirations are not being met anymore. He committed to working in Parliament too.